Video 3. Measuring the mass of solids using the analytical beam balance. Topics covered in this video include an introduction to the instrument, the purpose and proper use of weighing boats, tearing or zeroing the device, accurate measurements of your compound's mass, and recording the mass of reaction flasks and using significant figures. Today, we will be describing some of the features of the analytical beam balance. This is a tool to precisely measure the mass of solids. This particular balance can sense acute changes in mass up to four decimal places in accuracy. Due to this, some precautions and techniques must be taken into account in order to ensure the accuracy of your weight measurements and prevent damaging this sensitive instrument. In order to weigh a compound, we must have a holder or carrier that prevents direct contact of chemicals with our balance. Direct contact of chemicals can contaminate or even damage this costly instrument, preventing use by your peers in the laboratory. We therefore weigh our compounds in the confines of weighing boats that look like this. They provide a safe, non-stick surface for solids that allow easy and efficient transfer to reaction flasks with minimal loss of starting material. Begin by placing your weighing boat on the scale and make sure all sliding doors on the device are closed. The analytical beam balance is sensitive enough that it can detect even the slightest fluctuations in weight due to the air current outside the device. Therefore, it is important to always close the sliding doors before taking any measurements. Once the sliding doors are closed, press the red tear button on the right side of the device. Tearing or zeroing the scale subtracts the weight of your weighing boat from any weight measurements you take of your compound by treating the weight of the boat as zero. Press the button a few times to ensure the scale reads zero, although some fluctuation in the last digit is normal. Caution! If you overshoot your target mass, do not transfer any solids back into the original container. This might contaminate the stock reagents with dust or moisture from the outside. Instead, transfer some excess compound to a classmate who has not yet weighed out their reagent. This will allow you to conserve reagents instead of simply throwing them away while being considerate of your lab mates by sharing. Once the device has been zeroed, we can begin transferring our compound to the scale. For the purposes of this video, Let's say we want to measure 1 gram of our compound. Begin by slowly transferring your compound in small increments to the weighing boat, decreasing the size of these increments as you get closer to your 1 gram final target mass. We may also measure the mass of a solid compound within the flask that we aim to do a reaction in. In such a case, we must take the weight measurements of all flasks, stopper caps, and stir bars used during the process of the experiment. Record these measurements carefully, always taking into account the proper number of significant figures. The number of significant digits used should be consistent with the smallest number of decimal places given within the experimental procedure described in your laboratory manual.